So I can tell already he's thinking of beginning, middle, and end. And that's how I'm thinking. So I can tell that he's going to blur out this chair. So because of that, I'm going to bring it a little further, because he's probably going to want to give you the feel of intimacy and feeling like you're peeking into someone's picnic table. And so with that, I'm looking at this angle. The drumstick is too low. So I need to now false bottom it. Because I can tell from this angle, the camera's only going to pick up the tip end bone it. part. Yeah, the bone the part, the tip. And the really meaty part is being sunk underneath. So this is where I would grab cotton balls or paper towel. I'd wet it a little bit, and I'd create a false bottom. You know, if I wet paper towel, I can control the shape so much more. And then I have a little bit of lift to what I'm needing to lift to bring up more as the hero. And I got to make sure that when I do that, I don't still see this. So part of that is in styling, I'm going to always make sure that I go up and down. And I'm going to anticipate what's the highest angle he's going to shoot. Because obviously, he's not going to shoot it top down. So if the highest angle he's going to shoot is like right here, then we've got to make sure even at this angle, you don't see the paper towel. And that's going to help because you're all photographers too and food stylists. So you're going to be picking all these at once, and you can just pretty much knock off that checklist on your own without having to refer to somebody else. So I think I can get it to lift up. And he knows it's false bottom, so hopefully he can skirt the paper towel if he sees it too. But I'm thinking already right here yep. that you can catch the drumstick yep, that's good. really nicely. I like the way you hit it first. OK. Do this way. Yeah. Yeah. OK, I've got some fried chicken here, some shapes. So I'm looking how there. the light's hitting that chicken piece because that's, again, what, what's going to bring out that depth? The light and the shadows to it, right? So to keep that big blob of a mass happening and to be able to get that separation, where is the light? And so you can start seeing um, when you're at the angle from, that you're going to shoot from how the light's starting to hit it. I can see the light starting to get here, so I have a little bit of separation. It's giving a little bit of definition to our hero piece of chicken. Again, something to focus in on. Yeah. So I've decided, I've just made up the recipe, it's a time fried chicken, OK? So I'm going to, because if it's a time fried chicken, it's probably dried time within the batter. But I still feel like I can still show a little bit of time on top, because that's still true to the recipe. Um, or if the client's recipe had time in, I still, that we can, still feel like we can bring that out to let them know at least it's an herb fried chicken. Because that way, when they bite into it, they're going to taste that herb. So it's good to at least let the viewer know or the eater know what's going to be in it. So I'm going to go ahead and add a few sprinkles of thyme leaves. And I always use fresh if I can. If I only have dry, then that works too. Do whatever you can. But if I can, I'm going to make sure I try to use. And I'm using my hands. I'm not using tweezers yet because I don't need it yet. I don't feel like I need it yet. But it can always help because the thyme leaves too seem to be laying really great where I want them to be. And and I'm going to add maybe, I can tell that in focus, he's going to say, am I focusing on time? Which one's the hero leaf? And I think it's going to be this tiny one right here, because I can already see. I know the camera can't see. About here, maybe right here, what's where the light's catching? Higher. Yeah, a little higher. Maybe over this one. The light's still catching on this one. Yeah. So we're trying to identify where the light hits the best. Yeah. So maybe it's right there. Somewhere in there, yeah. Yeah, so we kind of identified. It looked good here, but the light's not catching. So I'm going to place it where I think the light's going to catch, and it's really beautiful right here. That's the hero time. I and so sometimes it'll be a matter of tweaking where you're placing something. Sometimes it's a matter of tweaking and moving your body of and just tilting the dish a little bit. So let's say it wasn't hitting when I was here, and I moved there, it is. Sometimes that's all it takes. Other times you just have to replace and move somewhere else that it works better. Yeah. And let's say, what let's add, who likes potato chips? Chippies. Raise your hand if you like potato chips. Woo, woo. You guys don't like potato woo, chips? Woo. Come on. <laughs> I love potato chips. Kettle chips type cooked chips. So, so we're going to continue adding layers onto a frame. So let's say in this story at a fried chicken picnic, you would have potato chips. So let's keep adding things to the frame. You see, so when Todd and I started shooting, again, we just kind of drew back and started shooting simple things. And we kept adding things because it's so much easier to add than it is to take away. So I'm looking here. I'm wondering, does he see the chips at that angle? I think I might have to lift up the bowl because I think the Those actually aren't chips, bad there. Yeah, because if you don't see the chips in the back, I'll false bottom it no, again with bad. something and lift the bowl up a little bit more. That's not so, bad there. Yeah. Well, yeah. can I lift it just to give more height? Sure, if you like. So I'll just do that. 
Cool. I'll keep lifting up to where I feel a need, because if they, that's the only vessel you have, you can compensate by making sure it lifts up just a little bit or tilting it. Mm -hmm. That's a second layer. Mm -hmm. Let's think of a third layer, right? I can break it. Beer. Okay, everybody loves beer. Who likes beer? Yes. Ooh, Raise ooh. your hand, beer. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, you, you, guys, you guys are the folks that won't tell me about a, uh, talk, tell me about a radish tail. And now I'm here trusting you about telling me about beer. No, that's too green. Let's do, let's do this one, because this feels like a summer glass. Okay, so we know that we're gonna add a drink. That guy is super very last. That isn't even gonna be considered until everything else looks good. So feeling like it's a picnic table, that looks good, that looks good. Um, what else can I add? I feel like you've got the chips, you've got that, summer. Let's throw some fruit on it too, because I think part of a summer picnic is that we would probably want some fruit. And plus it adds a little bit of color to the back too. Um, I'm gonna keep adding layers, but I'm not gonna add too much. I think the fourth element of berries is gonna be enough, because that's gonna let you feel too and let you understand that it is summer, because we want to highlight summer. And I think, oh my gosh, this is so perfect, because now I have the pink and red and the strawberries to pull the colors for the basket to here. So I thought, oh, this is even better, because now everything's going to be tied in together well, and the color in the red is going to allow you to draw the eye to the back a little bit more to extend the frame to the back. Is it going to be here? Is it going to be here? Can you see both if I did that? Let me see. Oh wait, this is horizontal, huh? Yeah. No, actually, the berries are just now catching in. Catching in. Yeah, Should I, I give you a closer? shot? You want to see it? Yeah, actually, let's give us a shot. Let's get an idea of what we're shooting here. It's summer picnic in Creative Live. And then again, beer is very last, and that's when we want to get that fizz. So nice. as we're again thinking layers and layers, you always give yourself a starting point. Do just shoot to see where you go. Because sometimes things um, don't look the same in camera as they do in eye. And that always happens. Because so many times, and we've been humbled many times on set, because we're so confident, this is going to work. It's going to work great. We've shot this angle and the subject a million times. But then we realize the dish that had, they have it in doesn't work. So it can be really humbling to shoot it in front of a client and be like, totally wrong. But that's part of the job. And that's part of food photography is making so many mistakes. Because where Todd and I, have um, where Todd and I are today is because we made a ton of mistakes all the time. It's actually it's food part fall of, and crash. It's and part stuff. of life in general. Yeah. I mean, it's like you you think about it. It's like, what are the times when you're frustrated? That's actually the times that you're learning. That's the times when you're actually progressing because those are the times when you're struggling and finding new ways and you're expanding what your knowledge is. And was so instead of fighting that frustration time, embrace it. It's like oh. Awesome, I'm learning more today. Just kind of developing that mindset. It's like, this today I'm moving forward. 